DJI has done it again, sending the drone world into a full-blown panic of excitement, curiosity, and speculation, as whispers around the DJI Neo 2 and DJI Avatar 3 continue to grow louder. It all started when a trusted insider dropped a few cryptic hints suggesting that DJI might be preparing one of the biggest compact drone launches we've seen in years. But this time, things feel different. The details, the leaks, the upgrades, everything points toward a complete evolution of DJI's approach to ultralight drones. According to several reports and insider commentary, the DJI Neo 2 could pack a 1.1.3-inch CMOS sensor, delivering true 4K 60fps video with better low-light performance and cinematic detail than ever before in this weight category. But it's not just the camera that's sparking discussion. Take a closer look at its arms. On the right, there's what seems to be a LiDAR sender and receiver, and on the left, a possible mini-display that could show flight status or follow-me modes in real time. If these details prove true, the DJI Neo 2 might be the smartest and most adaptive drone ever made under 250 grams, marking a huge milestone for DJI's mini lineup. What really adds to the buzz is that the Neo 2 is rumored to be compatible with DJI Goggles N3, allowing pilots to experience true FPV immersion without needing a high-end racing drone. That means more flexibility, more fun, and potentially, a much cheaper entry point into the FPV ecosystem for creators who love cinematic flying. And the compatibility doesn't stop there. The Neo 2 can reportedly sync with smartphones and older DJI remotes, keeping the experience simple, connected, and cost-efficient. However, the price of progress always comes with a few caveats. The Neo 2 Intelligent Flight Battery now costs 129 double the previous price. The charging hub sits at $79, propellers at $39, and propeller guards at $49, while the digital transceiver comes in at $59. Even the DJI Care refresh plan sees a slight increase. Now $28 for one year and $48 for two years. Still, enthusiasts don't seem too bothered. Most agree that if the performance leap is as major as rumored, these new prices are more than fair. The official reveal is expected October 30th, 2025, and speculation suggests this might be the final DJI drone released under the current FCC certification rules, making it not just a launch, but a pivotal moment for the company's future roadmap. And here's where things get truly fascinating. The Neo 2 reportedly introduces a detachable external transceiver module that connects via USB-C, unlocking OcuSync 4 support for longer range, lower latency, and rock-solid video transmission. This modular design philosophy allows pilots to upgrade components without buying a whole new drone, giving DJI fans an affordable way to future-proof their gear. Imagine plugging in new modules for advanced AI tracking, LiDAR depth mapping, or even satellite-based navigation. DJI could transform the Neo 2 into a platform rather than a single product. The company seems to be doubling down on flexibility, accessibility, and smart design. With gesture and voice controls, direct USB-C charging, and extended 19-minute flight time. The DJI Neo 2 is targeting vloggers, travelers, and beginners who want cinematic footage without dealing with bulky drones or complex setups. At just 135 grams, it's lighter than most smartphones yet packed with pro-grade features. The camera setup is expected to feature 10-bit D-Log M color, HDR video, and dynamic range up to 13.5 EV stops, ensuring vivid, detailed shots in both bright and dim light. DJI has also upgraded stabilization, moving from a single axis to a dual axis gimbal, meaning smoother footage even in windy conditions. And safety hasn't been ignored either. The Neo 2 now features omnidirectional sensors on both the front and rear, significantly improving obstacle avoidance, especially for new pilots learning to navigate tight spaces. Despite its small form, the drone exudes premium capability, bridging the gap between mini and professional systems. With OcuSync 4 connectivity, the Neo 2 can pair seamlessly with motion controllers and goggles N3, giving users that immersive FPV thrill while maintaining full stability. Pricing for the lineup remains surprisingly accessible. $229 for the Fly Solo bundle, $299 for the Creator Combo, $399 for the FPV Starter Pack, and $449 for the Fly More Kit. Plus, since it weighs under 249G, it requires no FAA registration in most regions making it ideal for travelers and hobbyists looking for a no-hassle flying experience. It's clear DJI is redefining what budget-friendly drones can achieve. But that's not all. Rumors are swirling that alongside the Neo 2, DJI is quietly working on the DJI Avatar 3, a drone that could completely change the FPV landscape.
Leaks from Chinese social media show a sleek, redesigned body with sharper aerodynamics, a rear-shifted battery for better balance, and possibly a 1-inch CMOS sensor, a monumental leap from the Avatar 2's smaller sensor. This would mean vastly improved low-light performance, dynamic range, and detail for high-speed FPV cinematography. Gone are the bulky orange bumpers and chubby shell. The Avatar 3 looks refined, aggressive, and purpose-built for speed and creative control. It seems DJI is moving away from the toy-like aesthetic and leaning into a professional racing and cinematic hybrid. Imagine diving between skyscrapers at night or chasing cars at golden hour with crisp, noise-free, cinematic-grade footage, all from a compact FPV unit. If the Avatar 3's rumored release window between November 2025 and January 2026 holds true, DJI fans are in for an exciting few months ahead. This could be the company's most aggressive back-to-back -back release schedule ever. The timing also hints that DJI might be preparing for regulatory shifts or even a new generation of OcuSync technology to unify both the Neo 2 and Avatar 3 platforms under one communication standard. For creators, this means smoother integration across their entire drone ecosystem, from beginner-friendly models to advanced FPV systems. And if DJI follows its usual pattern, we could even see firmware cross-support, where features from the Neo 2 gradually trickle down or sync with the Avatar 3's flight modes. It's a strategic move that strengthens DJI's dominance in both the hobbyist and professional markets. So, whether you're into cinematic aerial storytelling, travel vlogging, or fast-paced FPV racing, the next generation of DJI drones looks like it's ready to cover every base. With cutting-edge sensors, modular accessories, longer range, and smarter controls, the DJI Neo 2 and DJI Avatar 3 could easily become the most talked-about drones of 2025 and early 2026. So mark your calendars, charge those batteries, and get ready, because DJI's new era of intelligent flight is just about to take off.